What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will fix some bugs. Now this is pretty much one of the last episodes, okay, um, without saying the last episode because I want to do like a quick um, finale episode, right, which is like showcasing the whole pride and what we have built over those like 80 something episodes, right? Now. I know that there's gonna be probably more bugs, so if there's very very significant, please let me know in the down in the comments so uh, maybe I can do one extra more episode fixing them. But um, the the ones that are not very significant, I want you to take them as a challenge and try to fix them up, and and overall we can help you out through uh, like the Patreon page and um and Discord and things like that. But anyway, with that said, it's gonna be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so the first bug that I want to address is that when the AI dies, he will basically keep attacking. So let's go into the, you know, AI over here in our level and press Ctrl to open this up. And I'm gonna go into the any damage section. So when the player receives damage and we go here and we subtract it right from the stats component, right, and we check that if it's dead, we, yeah, disable the, where is it? the movement so he cannot move but if you're still nearby he will manage to uh, attack you so what we're going to do is simply just go and create a new variable which will be something as is dead okay and simply right i guess around here okay before doing this we will set is dead to true okay and, and there we go <laughs> we're good to go right um, but of course we need to now go and make sure that he will not attack so we have all the attack system here we have the sword trays and the um, attack input what we call from the database so we are I mean well we have a can attack that we can disable so we are also gonna do that here right so can attack where is it here we are gonna use this variable that we already have to use disable it right and now well the AI will not be able to continue attacking because we have it disabled there now this leads to the next one which we're gonna be using this new variable that we created right which is essentially to um uh, that the AI can be assassinated twice uh, right if we manage to go into the radius so we're gonna go into the um, function sorry the interfaces and double click on stealth back assassin and I'm gonna make a real check over here which is to uh, just add a branch and get my is dead right and do not boolean right so I'm gonna check if it's not dead and if so we do this, the, the whole thing right but of course we need to make sure that uh, is dead will also right <laughs> be marked on here and now we actually have it all checked out and everything will just work and we cannot um, you know kill uh, the enemy twice and and they will not continue to attack which is really cool now also there, there were some reports on um bugs where you could um also like uh essentially increase the the xp multiple times and so on we have a do once node here so that should not be the issue anymore also for the quests right um i mean on top of that we can we can also just make sure that we can only receive damage right if uh, we are not dead so let's copy this two little notes from the stealth bag go to the van graph and you space it in into the condition right and now we will also just continue to, to get damage if you're not dead um also make sure that is dead is disabled by default of course right and and yeah there we go and also the xp should not um continue to, to increase when that uh, because of do ones on the check that we just did cool so those are three kind of bugs out of the way which is really cool and a lot of things as you can see is for AI um, but then the, the second thing that I want to improve is the second attack for the AI right which is a bit um, too small so if I go into the AI pit over here that we have built <laughs> for testing okay you can see that <clears throat> Let's see if it makes it yet. So that one, right, it's a bit too small. I want to make it a bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna go back into here, and we can see that we are doing the traces for the sword trace, and we have the stab. So for the stab, I want to make it a bit bigger, maybe like 35, 
and I think that will work seriously. Um, so it's basically it's making the sphere chase for the stab and kick um, animation just a bit bigger because it was too small and honestly, well, actually it has to be even bigger, let's do 40. Uh, actually like 95% of the times it didn't hit me, it was just there. So there we go. And now I'm gonna get the draw types to none already, right? Because we don't need them. So let's just put them to be none. And there we go, now everything is also way cleaner. So another, well this was more than a, a bug and improvement, so there we go. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna uh, take in consideration and fix it is gonna be that basically the, when the player receives damage while, you know, attacking, it might break the system, the attack system, and we will essentially um, not be able to attack anymore. Now it's a bit hard to you know reproduce the, the bug, that's why I'm not gonna do it right now. But basically, when we are attacking, let's say so let me get a, a sword over here, so light sword, right? And I'm attacking like this and I receive damage um because we are in the middle of the combat system, right? Um we cannot interrupt the attack and we we play the damage animation and when I go back, I cannot attack anymore because of one little thing which is under blueprints. And if we go into the where is it BBC attack system, you can see that we have this is attacking variable. Basically, this attacking variable never goes back to false because we interrupt the animation at half, and that way we cannot um, attack anymore because we cannot attack if we already attacking. If that makes sense. So the the quick fix that we can do, right? is essentially just go into the player blueprints so let's go to third person blueprints third person and i'm gonna go into the health system so let's do um control f um any damage um wait any damage is connected to it should yeah there we go um okay yeah, it's a bit of a mess this but essentially right um we want to disable that thing so I'm gonna just get a sequence over here probably where we play the mon okay so yeah so after the montage okay which makes sense because that's the thing that is breaking it we will get the um, the attack system component and you say set is attacking well actually better than set is attacking which might break a few things the best thing will be to stop the combo which will do this and, and reset the attack okay so let's go here sorry here and do stop combo not combo trace okay very important okay guys not the trace but the combo itself which is just this one over here very very important okay guys um, anyway, with that said, we can just continue and plug this over here. Make sure that you plug it back here to, so everything works. And there we go, that should be fixed, okay? So now, I mean, we, we, I was attacking, right? And I received damage. Everything will still uh, work fine, which is really cool. So another bug out of the way. Um, and now we have the last one for today, okay? Um, which is gonna be the, the, the camera gets stuck on enemies. So if I go like, I mean, I'm also not gonna try to reproduce the bug right now, but basically like the camera gets always in the way, as you can see, and, and I see my pants, right? <laughs> so um, let's, let, as you can see in the third person character, we have the camera boom. I mean, we had also some some issues with this when we begin the series, but you can see that it um where is it? Uh, we have the probe size right for the camera collision and we have the probe channel as camera cores and things like that so let's go to the ai and i'm gonna go into the first of all into this mesh over here and we're gonna go down and you can see the camera is ignored that's good uh, so the mesh is out of the way then the the reference should not have any collision so we're good to go then the assassination radius should be overlap all dynamic um and uh, this should be overlap okay so that should be good um and then for the sword we have no collision okay and then um and then okay yes yeah, so in that case it is the radius so we need that to custom and let's put this to ignore just in case for the camera um and then is there anything else well we have the the health bars and so on but of course those should not have any collision right um, because they have the collision presets as UI. Yeah, we have it as overlap. So that should not really make any 
difference um so let's see i mean let's i guess press play we just changed the the radius but oh that also was an overlap so i believe that should not make an impact um so let's see let's see because the mesh has this overlap yeah we still whoa that that guy flew huh uh we, we're still impacting right i mean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're still doing it for some reason but you know we don't have anything with collision um the arrows of course doesn't have it the sword no collision the mesh has camera set to on uh, to ignore the radius has it to ignore i guess i guess maybe it's the ui or something um this is no collision okay well i mean let's put this to custom camera ignore custom camera ignore and then custom camera ignore for the three uis uh, widgets that we have okay that should be it so um with that said guys that's pretty much all the bugs that i wanted to address in this episode i know that there's a few more um that could potentially be out there so let me know in the comments below if they're significant and i will just make one little extra episode before the finale where we will actually just kind of make the final final episode of this um rpg series we'll go through all the um breaks that we have built the game right we'll go through the main level it'll be kind of like a showcase and everything will be really really cool i'm very excited um i don't know how many episodes we're doing 80 something which is insane we have one of the best our uh, well, series in the whole YouTube or Unreal Engine, if not the best, okay? And, well, I'm, I'm very happy, guys. So, remember, you can get the whole Patreon, um, sorry, the whole Pride Pass through Patreon you the members, so you can literally download the Pride and have everything if you don't want to follow the whole 80 uh, something episodes, right? Uh, join my Discord server, follow me on our socials, and now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.